you want to talk, and especially this spot, if you want to talk about in the middle of nowhere, oh, the middle of nowhere is jealous of how remote you are. <laughs> yeah, so grateful to be up here and hunt with, with Jason and Dean and all the guys. They, they truly are like family. And, and this hunt this morning was just a textbook Saskatchewan hunt. In the deer woods, you get out what you put in. Whether a weekend warrior or a year-long fanatic, in the end, you'll earn every inch. For us, that's a 365-day-a-year grind, scouting, setting up, making it a lifestyle. There's no words that can describe what deer hunting means to some, but a picture is worth a thousand words. And now, for nearly a decade and over 100 episodes, we've shared what it means to us in film. And more importantly, we've had the opportunity to watch, hunt, and just enjoy some of the biggest and oldest deer they call the Whitetail Woods home. This is Season 8. Partridge's Canadian Whitetail is proudly brought to you by Ozonix, undetectable, undeniable. Elite Archery, the world's most shootable bow. Stealth Cam, proven reliability, proven quality, proven performance. Excalibur Crossbow, the most trusted crossbows on the planet. Big and J long range attractants, the aroma is super strong, the range is super long. Nocturnal lighted knocks, switch on accuracy. The heater bodysuit, number one in cold weather hunting gear. Hoyman, your land, your legacy. Black Eagle Arrows, superior carbon technology. Central Boiler, outdoor wood furnaces, performance and value by design. The Whitetail Institute of North America. Under Armour, go where you don't belong. And by Limb Saver, products that work. On this week's episode, we're heading up to northern Saskatchewan to hunt at our outfitting camp, Canadian Whitetail Outfitters, with good friend Jeremy Atkins from Big and Jay. Now, this is the third year that Jeremy's come up to hunt with us, and two years ago, Jeremy took a tremendous buck. On only Jeremy's first day of 2015, he had a chance at his target buck, and he had made it count. Meh. Right here. Here. Hey, deer's right there. Right here. Hey. Huh. Yes, dude. Dude. Dang. Congratulations again, Jeremy. This hey, was bro. a long time in the making. Yeah. Appreciate so you. So grateful. Honored to hunt with you guys. Yeah. Appreciate it's been it. an absolute blast. What you guys do for us, and you know, you're just oh. good to have you up here. Been some time in camp, not at a show or oh, I know. you know like that. Yeah. It's just cool. So. Yeah. And after Jeremy's first year hunt, only lasting one day, I'm not sure if he was expecting what was going to happen the next year. And after targeting one specific buck, and after eight long days in the stand from dark to dark, he only had one encounter, not ending in a shot. The northern woods give and they take, and with over 80 hours logged in on stand, the woods were about to rob Jeremy of a chance at a great buck. When this big deer turns on a dime and walks out, not offering a shot, sending Jeremy home with nothing more than memories. But as they say, you can't keep a good man down. And something told us that Jeremy would be back. This segment has been brought to you by Nocturnal Lighted Knox. Simple, string activated, and now you can get 15% off all items by entering promo code WHITETAIL15 at Faradine.com. Nocturnal Lighted Knox. Switch on accuracy and let it glow. Canadian Whitetail has also been brought to you by Slick Trick Broadheads and Dual Game Calls. Glendale, the biggest and toughest 3D targets in the universe. Bog Pod, more than just a shooting rest. Raculator, score your trophy fast, easy, and accurate. And by Scott Archery and Custom Bow Equipment. This segment has been brought to you by the Heater Bodysuit. The Heater Bodysuit is the ultimate cold weather hunting garment that allows you to stay on stand longer and sit comfortably. The Heater Bodysuit, 
You stay warm or your money back. Now in 2017, Jeremy was headed back from his home in Nebraska up to our camp in northern Saskatchewan to try his luck at another Canadian whitetail. Heading into camp is an adventure in itself, and one that Jeremy has become very familiar with. And once arriving, first things first, and that's to check equipment and to take a few shots while there's still light to prepare for the next day's start. First morning, everybody's right, loading up on the buggies. Right. It's a perfect morning, got some snow, colder temps. Cool. I'm excited and I got the man behind the camera himself. Dean's gonna film me, which is truly an honor and a privilege, so I'm pumped. <laughs> well, on day one, the honor was certainly all mine, sitting in the middle of northern Saskatchewan hunting deer with the privilege of filming a great friend. Although Jeremy didn't let me talk him into taking the first deer, more quickly began to move as the temperature plummeted to below minus 28 Celsius. So we got operation. And he's gonna wear off now. We brought it, and I told him you should use this thing. It's like gold in Saskatchewan, and it's gold. And he thought he'd be okay, but it's on now. A heater bodysuit is pure gold in these conditions, and once Jeremy put his on, he warmed back up, and we were treated to deer all day long. I opened my pack and I had one scrunched up, mashed up, frozen little peanut butter and jam sandwich. It was like, it was like barely a nibbling of a sandwich. And then Jeremy just went to have a sandwich. He opened his pack and he's got these cheese and meat and mustard and these gourmet sandwiches all nicely laid out in his pack. We're gonna have a little talk at camp. As we finished out our day in the blind, back at camp, Cook Carly was preparing another hunter's fresh backstrap for supper on the smoker. A welcome meal to come back to. We wrapped off the day with good food, good friends, and maybe a few tall tales from the day's hunts from all in camp, as everyone awaited the next morning, which was going to bring some changes for Jeremy's hunt. Welcome to this week's Canadian Whitetail Scouting segment. Locate, learn, set up, hunt. Brought to you by Big and J Long Range Attractants. The aroma is super strong, the range is super long. 
Glendale 3D targets are the biggest on the market. And our deer here in Saskatchewan are the biggest whitetails in North America, so it only makes sense that it's a great fit. But regardless of where you live or what deer you hunt, a Glendale target gives you a realistic target to shoot at, which is imperative. Deer don't have dots to aim at, and neither does a Glendale, which forces you to pick a spot, learn where those vitals are, and then aim at those vitals. There's also vital locations marked right on the target face, so you can see where you hit and make any adjustments that you might need. The Glendale's four-sided core has different shooting faces, which has the vitals in different positions, so you can practice from quartering away and other angles. The four-sided core also adds to the longevity of the target, letting you shoot more, essentially saving you money. And if you do wear it out, you can just pop in a new core. The outer portion of the target that holds the core is very durable as well. We've been shooting at the same one for four years here now at the farm, without taking it indoors once, and it's still in great shape. Practicing with a Glendale target not only gives you a realistic target to shoot at, it also teaches you where those vitals are located from different angles, and that can only help improve your chances in the field. This week's Canadian Whitetail Scouting segment has been brought to you by Big and J Long Range Attractants. This segment has been brought to you by Fog Pod. More than just a shooting rest. Bog Pod. Prepare for the unknown. The day previous, while Jeremy and I were in the blind, Jason and Josh had checked a new spot where they put out some big and J, and when they pulled the card from the stealth cap, there was a very welcome sight. A big non-typical and very regular, just the kind of gnarly buck that Jeremy had came for. And for day two, that would be our new plan, to change spots and hope to take a look at this new buck. Shortly after getting settled on day two, at just first light, we were about to get a big surprise. Only moments into the day, this gorgeous looking 5x5 made an appearance. Long beams, nice tines, the temptation to shoot was certainly there. However, the decision was made that this buck was just too young, and not the target buck. But what a beautiful animal. Our decision had paid off, and after a few slow hours, caught off guard, I looked up and quickly tapped Jeremy. The non-typical buck had snuck in and was right there. The buck was absolutely stunning, and Jeremy quickly gave me the nod that he was definitely going to take him. first hit we moved over here because of that deer yeah. <laughs> and we we try not to bounce around because putting your time in at one stand is what gets results we moved over here because of this deer which was a sketchy move because we usually don't bounce around right yeah and I was just sitting here thinking we should have just stayed where we were yesterday we should have just stayed put and Jason and Josh are actually the guys to be thanked because we were hunting another buck in a different stand yesterday we yeah. didn't see him he's still there and they came in, they checked the card here, and uh, this buck had been through a lot. A Sunday, Monday, so we, Josh got everything ready. Jason moved you over here this morning, and it's a pretty cool deer, eh? Oh, it's a real cool deer. Whitetail Insights, brought to you by the Quality Deer Management Association, ensuring the future of whitetail deer. Hunter pressure, that's something that I think every hunter in North America deals with, and especially when they're hunting their own stand, and, We've often said on the show that I think your best chance to kill a target deer is the first day and it slowly goes down every day from there. And we've been big proponents of not hunting any specific sand unless everything is perfectly right. You know, we, we don't go in to hunt any specific buck unless we're 100% confident that that could be the day. Like the, the wind is right, the, the, the weather's right, everything's right. But you have some interesting data that proves exactly 
how much you can hunt an area and how much pressure those deer can take before they start altering their, their behavior and their patterns. Yeah, and basically what they're finding is, you know, when you get into an area and start putting human scent there, whether the deer sees you or not, in most cases you have about three sits three opportunities before that deer is physically avoiding that area, at least during daylight hours. And that's why I think one of the reasons that, you know, that you are so successful in it, it's the discipline that you put on not hunting a stand when the conditions aren't right, because you don't get very many chances. And so you need to make everyone count. Well, it's one thing, Stephen, I've noticed a lot over the years is the, the more time we put into the deer, the less time we spend hunting. You know, a lot of the target box that we've been fortunate enough to take, they're some of the deer that we've hunted the least. And, and actually one of those research projects looked at collared deer in an area, so they saw you know, where they were any given day and time before hunting season. And then once hunting season started, they knew where people were in these different stands. So they knew exactly, you know, all right, once this stand was hunted about three times, deer were physically avoiding that area, even when hunters were not there. Well, on your collaring, you know, I'd be curious to see what you found. We found on an area where you have a really, you know, a nice mature buck and there might be multiple people hunting that deer or several people hunting that property, he'll definitely become harder to next to impossible to kill, but he's not, he, he generally doesn't leave. That's exactly right. And what they see is, yeah, they're not going somewhere else. They want to stay there. They just end up moving a lot less during daylight hours, but you, you are absolutely right with that, that first set. The first set is the one. This Whitetail Insight is brought to you by the Quality Deer Management Association. Become a member and ensure the future of whitetail deer. This segment has been brought to you by Central Boiler Outdoor Wood Furnaces. A central boiler easily connects to your existing forced air, in-floor radiant, baseboard, or dual heat system to heat your entire home in domestic water. Central Boiler, performance and value by design. Well, we just got out, we gave, we probably gave him just about an hour. Uh, we had a look at the shot, I don't think we had to give him any time. We just came out to have a look for the arrow. I can't find it. It didn't look like he took it with him, but mm. it could went under the snow. But something tells me we don't have to see what the arrow looks like to make a decision because not even five yards, there's a, there's a stream of blood there in the snow. So we'll just go and have a look here. I'll see you, dear buddy. <laughs> Just an unbelievable experience. So grateful to be up here and hunt with, with Jason and Dean and all the guys. They, they truly are like family. And, and this hunt this morning was just a textbook Saskatchewan hunt. Deer on top of us, first thing in the morning, a beautiful up and comer 10. Knew this buck was in here. And lo and behold, oh, mid afternoon, he just slipped right in on top of us. I couldn't be happier. Look at the brows on that Look deer. at the brows, just the, the just the characteristics. I mean, he's got just inside points, splits, mass, dark chocolate Saskatchewan bruiser. It's exactly what we make that 22 hour drive up here to hunt. I mean, just, just truly an awesome specimen. What an experience with true friends. And that's a true Saskatchewan whitetail right there. Wow. He's gorgeous, buddy. Congratulations. Hey, man. That's I can't sick. believe it. He's two different deer. He's got this big side here with the one split and he's got that gnarly side. Hey. Oh, I know. So I tried to tell Jeremy that maybe we should pass him up and we'll hunt him another day. <laughs> when we get better footage of him coming through the pines and stuff. But Yeah, uh, I'm right on it. Jeremy was not on team. <laughs> I couldn't let a deer like that walk. No, man. I don't blame you. He's a beautiful deer. This he's is a gorgeous an awesome deer, deer and a gorgeous place to hunt. I mean, yeah. if you want to talk, and especially this spot, if you want to talk about in the middle of nowhere, oh you're the middle of nowhere is jealous of how remote you are <laughs> yeah and uh i mean this spot in today was i think it's about 16 miles uh by atv from the lodge yep you get into within a couple miles of the of, of the farmland like we are right here i mean they have the nutrition yeah our, our bucks to escape a lot of the rifle pressure and stuff they can head into the big timber like we are remote here yep in the summer They've got all that agriculture, you know, all that agriculture lands right there for them all summer. So you get that farmland genetics with the bush buck security, and you get these big, you know, these big kind of bucks that right on that border. And, yeah. and this is our target every time is, is a great deer like yeah. that. Wow. We get them out to the trail there and we can bring the ATV in and pick them up and get them out. So we'll get them tagged up and- Absolutely. Get on the road. Congratulations again, what a beautiful deer. Thank you, buddy. Well, I couldn't be happier for Jeremy and I couldn't be happier to have been there to film. 
the same things that have made Jeremy successful with Big and Jay are what make him successful in the deer woods. And that's just sharing that passion for deer and for the places that those white-tailed deer call home. It's the same passion that so many of us all across North America share. And Deer Camp is a perfect place to forge lifelong friendships. And congratulations, Jeremy, on an absolutely fantastic buck. I can't wait to share a blind with you again in the great white frozen north. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Canadian Whitetail. This segment has been brought to you by Wild Edge and the ultimate climbing system, the Stepladder. Safely design your climb in any tree, anywhere, with the most versatile, lightweight, and compact climbing system, the Stepladder. Canadian Whitetail has also been brought to you by these fine sponsors, For exclusive content, follow Dean and the team on Facebook, as well as on Instagram and Twitter, at Whitetail Dean. To view all our past and present episodes, as well as new original content, visit our YouTube, Carbon TV, and Waypoint TV channels. For Canadian Whitetail gear and apparel, visit CanadianWhitetailTV.com.